All right. Today is sugar water day. Um, in September, we start feeding the uh, honeybees sugar water, and that's to help supplement their uh, winter storage. Uh, they will convert uh, sugar water into honey. It usually takes them a couple weeks probably to breathe out all of that, uh, that moisture and uh, get it capped for their, uh, for their winter feed. So I picked up a new uh, turkey fryer uh, propane burger. Uh, we're not doing turkey today, we are doing sugar water. Um, this is just a quick and easy way to do up uh, large, uh, uh, large batches of sugar water. All right, doing a timeout here. <laughs> I, I don't have time to put this thing together. I didn't realize that it was completely unassembled. Uh, now it's not a big deal, but you know, I got about three hours and I've got to do the sugar water. I also need to finish my extracting and then get all my wet supers out uh, into the bee yard to let the bees uh, clean that up. So I am uh, going to take a shortcut here and I'm going to go back to doing what I did for the last couple of years, which is very simple in a pot on the table. Okay. So the uh, mix is two to one. So I'm just going to measure out my sugar, see how much I put in one bag. I'm just gonna use this little burner. This is what I cook like 90% of my food on up here <laughs> when I'm inside the cabin anyways. In the winter I use a, uh, a wood stove to cook on and of course you got the barbecue but uh, this little burner is pushing you know 17 years old and it's still going fine. like a witch. Yellow Jackets found me. First one showed up just a few minutes ago. Um, and now I've got a bunch of them buzzing around me. Doesn't take long. Honeybees haven't found it yet. I'd prefer the honeybees than the hornets, but bug off. Okay. So this is about 35 liters. Two to one sugar mix. And I'll probably do this uh, twice more. I'm just gonna let this cool down before I bag it. All right, it's a decent, decent haul there. It's not enough, but it's a good start. Uh, it's been a long day. I think I'm just gonna get this tidied up. Uh, get that uh, sugar water out to uh, feed the bees and uh, call it a call it a weekend. Um, this is a busy weekend. Uh, fall is the busiest time of the year for beekeepers. Um, we're harvesting our honey, we're treating those bees, getting them ready for winter, getting their uh, their sugar water on there. So um, I got a couple more busy weekends ahead of me and uh, then we'll be able to finally wrap those uh, ladies and uh, put them to bed for the winter. Um, I gotta say, I really, uh, really enjoy beekeeping. Um, every once in a while, I think, geez, what the hell am I doing? <laughs> Especially with all the challenges and stuff with, uh, with bees. But uh, I like it. I, uh, it's calming. You know, it's a lot of work, but uh, it's very, uh, it's, it's very satisfying when I uh, finish a year and, uh, you know, have a bunch of honey to eat and some honey to sell and share with my family and friends. If you can't taste my honey, Go get yourself some nice local raw honey, unpasteurized. 
Uh, I always tell my customers and friends to uh, taste a teaspoon of my honey just on its own and see what happens at the end of your tongue. Uh, honey is truly a very complex and incredible uh, source of food for us mere human beings. I know that sounds a bit dramatic, but uh, it's the truth. Gobies. <laughs>